Here it goes. It's just after 12.14 p.m. Eastern Time on December 5th, and you're looking at a live view of Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40, where a Falcon 9 is about to launch a Dragon spacecraft. Liftoff is targeted for 12.29 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's launch window is instantaneous. As I mentioned before, weather, green for today's mission, and so with launch, Falcon 9, Dragon, and range all go for the flight at T minus 10 minutes and 55 seconds. All systems are go at Cape Canaveral. We're taking Dragon today. It's also performing its final health checkouts. Its earlier transition to internal power went smoothly, uh, and so it is all ready to go for today's flight to the space station. Range remains go for today's launch. No tracking, no issues. Weather also looking beautiful at Cape Canaveral. Welcome back, everybody, for another SpaceX live stream. Today is Falcon 9 launch for the CRS, the Commercial Resupply, for the International Space Station ISS for NASA. Uh, CRS-19, the mission is called. As you can see here, there's a Dragon capsule up here. It's loaded with about 5,700 pounds of science and other um, discovery supplies for the, the space station to experiment with. So right now we're about one minute and 33 seconds out from launch. They say weather's a go. Yesterday uh, they had to stand down. The mission was scrubbed because of high level altitude winds uh, at the drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the middle of, of the Atlantic Ocean. So today it looks like we're a go so far. Look at that, dragon, dragon capsule right there. This is a brand new booster fairing on this Falcon 9 vehicle. However, the first stage has been flown three other times. This is the 12th SpaceX launch of the year. Let's hope it's another successful one. I'm sure it will be. Go for launch. Go for launch. Yay! 41 seconds. Falcon 9 flight computers have taken control of the countdown. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds, yes. What a beautiful rocket. This is at Cape Canaveral, launch complex 40, 4, 0, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero! Lift off! roughly three days for the Dragon capsule to reach the International Space Station and attach. It'll spend about four weeks there and then we'll return back to Earth. T plus 40 seconds into today's flight. All systems looking nominal for today's mission. Nominal or nominal Dragon like every astronaut says. Dragon on its way to the International says. Space Station for its 19th commercial resupply services mission. Wow, 19th. Way to go SpaceX. Stress states on the vehicle. Just heard the call out that we passed through supersonic. Ooh, it went supersonic. Speed of sound barrier. A vehicle has reached maximum air maximum pressure. Q, max With Q. That, we just heard the call, we passed through max Q. Look at that. 
Oh, one day I'm gonna see it in person. I can't wait. Recovery AOS. I don't know what that means. All nine engines look good. Yeah, nine, looks good. nine Coming rolling up, engines. We are going to have four events in rapid succession. It's gonna be main engine cutoff Cut for Miko, Miko, followed by stage C separation. Then second SES1. engine start one. That's, That's the engine on our uh, second stage. Followed by the uh, start of the boost back burn of our first cutoff. stage. Look at that. There's the Earth. There's Florida. The Panhandle, or not the Panhandle, the bottom of Florida. That's so cool. Right now there are nine Merlin engines. Falcon nine. Get it? Nine engines. 5,600 kilometers per hour. of our first stage looking aft. Okay, coming in hot on the first uh, uh, main engine shutoff, or main engine cutoff, excuse me, Miko. Here it comes. And if you Stand inside by. the two stages as we wait for stage separation. Stand by. Miko. Yes. Main engine cutoff. There it goes. Yay! Look at that. There goes the booster fairing back to Earth. So it'll land back on the drone ship. Of course, I main still love engine, you. We just had a good main engine cutoff, a good stage separation. On Next the right the side of your screen, you're seeing uh, oh, ignition of the second stage burn. engine. It has about a, a six minute burn ahead. And then on the left side of your screen, that is a forward looking view from our first stage where the boost back burn mm -hmm. has also started successfully. It's going to shut down here in just a few seconds. Here we go. Stand by. Stage one, boost back burn is shut down. Okay. Second engine startup. Once that. And then you just see on the tail of the screen there from there the second stage camera that was the nose cone grid of dragon fence. being deployed. Woo! Uh, nose cone of dragon being deployed. The grid means fence coming out slowly. The majority of Earth's atmosphere as we power second stage powers dragon uh, to the International Space Station right now. And just a heads up, Everyday Astronaut sells grid fin Stay coasters two, on his website, everydayastronaut.com. I want a set. Just saying. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. So this is the first stage headed towards the International Space Station. This is the booster fairing with the grid fins deployed, headed back to Earth to land safely on, of course, I still love you, drone ship. In order to make its way back to our drone ship, of course, I still love you, the first stage executes a series of three burns. The first is a boost back burn, which is meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. It also helps Falcon 9 laterally return to the drone ship. Shortly after this first burn is initiated, the grid fins, which you saw earlier on the left side of your screen, they're located near the top of the first stage, are deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Following the boost back burn, Falcon 9 executes its re-entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. Lastly is the landing burn, which happens just before touchdown to take the booster softly down to the drone ship. We are at T plus five minutes, and the second stage is on its way to drop off Dragon into its targeted orbit. As a reminder, the first stage had an on-time launch today at 12.29 p.m. Eastern Time, just a few minutes ago. Instantaneous soft window. Ascent. As I mentioned earlier, you see those grid fins deployed on the left side of your screen. As you see the first stage start angling back towards the Earth's atmosphere as it's going to get ready for that entry burn, which is our next main event to look out for. Come in here shortly, about I think six minutes in. Look at all the space particles and debris. Maybe not debris, but the space particles. I can't wait to see this in, in person. Roughly 30 seconds or so from now, we expect to see that entry burn begin, so let's keep our eyes peeled. Coming in hot. Stand by for entry burn, re entry burn into the atmosphere. Stage two continues on nominal trajectory. Cool. So you just heard out a call out, stage two is still on nominal ascent, taking track into station. Okay, entry burn's coming in hot. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Griffin just turned. That's interesting. Here it goes. Re-entry burn. So you see on the left side of your screen, entry Parting burn it. has begun. 
This should last just under 10 seconds, and we expect to see it shut down shortly. Yay! Hey, you want extra break shut down? Let the, the grid finish. They're moving. Down. Next major I've never event seen that before. Just under a minute or so. Steering the it, I guess. To begin. Look at that. Wow. <sighs> Some brilliant geniuses at SpaceX. Stage two continues. I would love to work trajectory. for SpaceX. Oh my gosh, that'd be a dream. Okay. Just about three seconds. Landing burn will be coming in hot shortly. <laughs> that landing burn to kick in. Let's keep watch. It's coming in. Uh, this typically happens. It may come back. Stand by. Looks like we lost our feed on the left side of the screen it's of the first difficult. stage coming down. Stage hey, one landing burn has started. Okay. So just heard on the call out. We did get confirmation that landing burn come has on. begun. Come on, show Hopefully us. We can pick that Please feed show back up us. To see a landing. Please. Please! Please. Landing burn. So the booster fairing. Yes! 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 Woo! Did it miss it? Ah. Ah. Unfortunately, it looks like we have lost our feed. They'll let the us know. Though. Landing. It oh, landed! is an important part of our commitment to be able to 20th successful landing. This is very exciting. So right now we're waiting for Seco, which is second engine uh, cutoff. Five or ten seconds here, we're going to have the engine shut down. Merlin vacuum uh, engine right now throttling down in preparation for shutdown. Standing by for shutdown of second stage engine, and then we'll have Dragon deployment about a minute after that. Here we go. Here it goes. Second engine cut off. There, there it goes. And we have shutdown and confirmation of a good orbit. Woo! Woo! -woo! Second stage has one last major task, and that's commanding oh, separation of Dragon. Here. Less than a minute from now, we should have stage some video two. of the separation from Dragon from the top of second stage. Dragon separation will give us a really nice view of Dragon's unpressurized cargo trunk, and we'll be able to follow the space se spacecraft the separation for about a minute after separation. Oh, that must be Here's the that deployment. Camera view on your screen Is that right the payload? Now. Waiting Standing for deployment. Standing right now for Dragon deployment, and here the confirmation of that. Stand by. Here we go for deployment of Dragon. So. At this stage in the in the Here mission, we go. Wait so for far it. we're just coasting. Uh, the vehicle itself is doing some checkouts. There we uh, go. In preparation to gently separate. It's deploying Dragon right from now. Second stage. After that point, there we time, go. There go. Woo woo! Dragon. Uh, carrying the the Hisui, the the spectral imager suite that's going to attach Look the all that Japanese those supplies uh, in there. module, and then the station battery right next to it. Uh, kind of on the top of the there, four the flat weeks. sections. Those are the solar ray fairings, which protected our solar rays uh, for ascent. We're now standing by for about two minutes from now, where those solar ray fairings will uh, release and, and allow the solar rays itself. themselves to unfold. Solar powered in space. If it works in space, why not use it on Earth? When it's affordable for everyone. When Just under two minutes till we're everyone. gonna have deployments of Dragon solar rays. <clears throat> Dragon does need these solar rays to, to, in order to finish its three-day mission. We have some onboard batteries. Uh, we use the solar rays to keep those batteries charged uh, from the times when we're not in the sun. I wonder what it allows us onboard to batteries keep they the vehicle have. powered. If they're lithium uh, ion, we, or if there's something uh, else. Make our mission to the space station, our three-day journey. I'm gonna look that up. Just under a minute or so until the solar rays will deploy. Uh, and because the views uh, go in and out, we are showing you a, a live map of the position of the vehicle. We don't always have the, the high data rate in order to transmit uh, video from the second stage or from Dragon. But with Starlink, so we, we have uh, eventually uh, we will animations to show you Look what at you're that. looking at. Oh, that's an animation. Okay. Now, second stage oh, itself cool. is doing some slight pitching, and that's why you're seeing uh, it look like Dragon is a 
is oriented uh, different in that view from the forward end. This guy seems nervous. But he's doing a great job. And on the left side of your screen, that's an inside view of the Dragon Solar Ray fairings at the back side of one of the solar rays. Oh. On the right side, again, there's your ground track trajectory where the vehicle is. Look at that. How cool is it that they can send footage after solar from ray space separation, uh, solar ray deployment to us on our uh, about live. two hours after we have our GNC bay door open. That's we where go. our Stand by for solar ray deployment to space and they allow us to uh, really understand our position relative to space, uh, to uh, to Earth, and relative to the space station and how we get from Okay, here we go. Here's the deployment of the solar rays. And there you have on the side of the screen, there's the solar ray deployment. Look at that. As they gradually unfold, that's the back side of our solar rays. That is so neat. It's beautiful to see, always a beautiful wow. sight. Wow. Look at that. Oh, deployment solar rays. It folds out like a panel. It's like a gym mat, like for gymnastics. Look at that. Dragon's propulsive system is successful. Woo! Let's see the other side. I want to see the other side. Dragon is now on its way to the space station. Over the next I two days, really Dragon Let me see the other side. Let me see the other panel. Let adjust maneuvers with its Draco engines until it's within a few kilometers of the ISS. Then Dragon will establish a communications link with the ISS and will perform a series of checks on the vehicle. When both NASA and SpaceX are ready, will initiate a slow approach to the ISS, pausing at several checkpoints along the way to ensure crew safety. When Dragon is within 10 meters of the station, the astronauts aboard will capture the Dragon using the station's robotic Canada arm in a process known as birthing. Finally, Mission Control in Houston will send commands from the ground for the station's robotic arm to rotate and stall Dragon to the space station. Dragon will remain on station for about 30 days before returning to Earth with research and return cargo. So to recap today, we had an excellent on-time launch, a successful stage separation, a booster landing, and a great Dragon and Solar Ray deploy. Yes. Dragon's arrival, capture, and installation to the space station will be streamed live starting on December 8th, around 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time on NASA TV. Dragon will spend about four weeks attached to the space station before returning to Earth with cargo and research. And research. Cargo and research. That's going to end our live launch coverage for today. But we'll be posting mission updates on NASA and SpaceX's social media accounts. We want to give a big thanks to the... So that was pretty cool. What do you guys think? I mean, they may be happening often, very often, and successfully each time, which is awesome. Um, but now it's very predictable and before they even announce what's going on um, We know people who watch these launches regularly um, What's going to happen? So that's very exciting predictability is good for um, investors sake for uh, just It's just really exciting. So uh, SpaceX congratulations on a, on a very successful year uh, last year, I thought, in 2018, that was a huge year. This year's been an amazing year, and I can't wait until 2020. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this reaction video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked. And uh, most of all, if you like me, if you like the videos, please hit that subscribe button. Come back for more. Hit the bell. Ding that bell. You can see new videos from me. Yours truly. <laughs> and I appreciate all of you coming to watch this video with me. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys!